caught my girlfriend cheating this week. Although hindsight is always 20 slash 20, the fact is that I spotted all of the red lights along the road and ticked them off as if they were objectives. Even though I knew I shouldn't, I always gave her the benefit of the doubt. For comparison, she's 19 and I'm 21. The first big red flag is her ex lived with her and her family, but he's moving out as I write this. For the longest time, I assumed they didn't like one other since her mother catfished her ex and acquired his nudes. That screwed up in and of itself. However, there were several red flags along the road. Some major ones were how she'd get him to stroke her feet or back, or how I once observed her kiss his hand in the beginning. Whenever I called her out on these things, she burst into tears and begged me not to go, saying how sorry she is, how it won't happen again, how I'm the love of her life, etc., blah, blah. She tells me I can go through her phone anytime, I want since she has nothing to hide after all she's done to break my trust. I don't think it's a good idea to go through your s slash phone. Wes, I'd always assumed it was quite harmful. So the other night when I went to her phone to turn off her Chromecast, it opened to a page of newly installed applications. In this list of apps, I noticed one of those messaging apps that produces a phony phone number for you to text or call from. She got this app since the last time I attempted to leave her. I banned her on everything, even her relatives. It was her sole means of communicating with me. So, guess who she texted? Her ex-boyfriend the most recent text came just before we went to bed that night. I love you. Good night. There are messages urging him to be quiet when he gets in her vehicle because she is on the phone with me, texts about how much she wants him to be there, and texts begging him not to say anything about her messaging him. At this moment, I'm trembling. I'm not sad. I'm not furious. I'm simply done. Hey, sweetie, what the is this? I jolt her awake. She merely pretended to be clueless, asking, what the app? I'm not sure. Then, she just said, wait, 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 over and over again. To be honest, that was a dead giveaway. She eventually says it was her mother contacting her ex, because her mother didn't think her ex really didn't care for her anymore, and since her mother had previously catfished him. Despite the fact that the whole automobile SMS message would be meaningless at that point. Her mother ultimately admits that she, not my girlfriend, was the one who texted her ex. Despite the fact that her grandmother informed me that her mother was lying to protect my girlfriend. And now I have to spend two a tower car drives with them and their three dogs, as well as three days at a rundown motel with them. I can hardly wait. I'm going to leave her for good once I get home. I pulled out of the road trip, abandoned her, and returned home. Story 2 Wife cheated on me, found out two days ago. Friday I discovered that my wife, we've been dating for six years, married for two years, and we're both 26, has been cheating on me for the last six months. We have two children, ages four and one and a half. So essentially, we were in a bad position last year, and I was most likely to blame. My wife characterized me as aloof and uncaring, among other things, and she was just unhappy. This occurred in November of 2018. Eventually dawned on me that this was going to kill our relationship, and I didn't want that to happen, so I did everything I could to save it. She was sort of tuned out at this point and the entire situation threw her into anxiety slash depression. In January 2019, she got an internet message from a man who resided in our region she had never met. Normally, she would disregard these messages from random males, but because of the timing and the fact that she was at an all-time low in our relationship, she responded, and that's when things became heated. According to reports, the man said all the right words and was exactly what she needed to hear. I pushed so hard throughout the whole month of December 2019 and was met with a lot of resistance from her, and I became upset at her lack of effort, even though she had put in a lot of effort when I didn't, so I don't blame her for being reluctant now. Anyway, the frustration led to a fight, which occurred about the time she got the message from this person. What I discovered and how I discovered it. My Facebook was left open on my computer a few weeks back, and she decided to read through my conversations. In February, I was chatting to an old high school acquaintance, female out of state, and the subject somehow led to how my relationship was just pure, and I was talking a little about my wife. My wife became enraged when she discovered that I was gossiping about her to another woman. She would constantly say after every argument that we should just get divorced if I didn't like it, and this went on for about a month until I finally said fine, let's get divorced, but then she kind of started putting in some effort and things were good for about a week, but then fell back into the same pattern. She used to advise me that after a disagreement, I should simply the neighbor girl so I had an excuse to divorce you. 
My wife had checked out of our relationship at this time. She had no idea she was cheating. I couldn't embrace her without her objecting or becoming irritated. I was unable to kiss her. We had maybe five times over this time period, always with an excuse, and she would leave her vibrator out, so I knew she was using it. I couldn't have a discussion with her without her being disrespectful or irritated. She was always on her phone, which was usual, but she was behaving strangely about it. She was experiencing troubles with her phone a few times and I wanted to check it out to see if I could repair it, but she wouldn't allow me. She was quite protective of her phone, and I never gave it a second thought. I discovered out when I got up on a Friday, I don't work on Fridays, but she does, and she had two iPhones. She has a newer phone with a faulty microphone, so she uses her old phone, but they sync together. I replied, F it. She went through my, I'm going through hers, also because everything seems so weird that I felt compelled to. That's something I've never done before. I honestly didn't expect to discover anything. I simply assumed my wife despised me at this point. Well, F me, I figured it out. To begin with, they never met in person, confirmed by their texts, but she would give him nudes and videos of her on a regular basis. She had previously given me nudes, but nothing like some of the films she has sent him. She would send nudists from work to the bathroom, and when I was home alone, she would take incredibly lengthy showers and shut the door. When I was downstairs, I was in bed. She would give them to him whenever he asked. He had this power on her where she would heed every command. According to what I've learned, she adores him as well. I read a post that claimed he makes her days better, that chatting on the phone with him makes her day brighter. How much she adores him, blah blah blah. How is the situation right now? So I was feeling all of the emotions within the first hour of learning. I texted her, saying, guess what, she was at work, I was at home. When she said, what? All I could think was, F you, literally F you. She then contacted me right away, and I questioned her about her cheating on me, and she then disclosed everything. I was enraged, saddened, and relieved to discover why the previous six months had been a total shambles. I'm glad I figured out why, and then I've been holding up rather well given what's occurred. I always assumed that if anything like this happened, I would just walk away, but I gave her another opportunity. I told her she had to pick between him and our relationship, and if she chose me, she had to cut off all communication with him. She phoned him and informed him I found out, and he was allegedly concerned that I would attempt to locate him, and he didn't want to be a part of the drama at this time, so he allegedly banned her number slash Facebook Snapchat and all that. My wife informed me she had blocked her, but that wasn't good enough for me. I informed her that I wanted her to prohibit him from doing anything. She didn't like this choice and mentioned today that it irritated her, to which I replied that I didn't care. I want her to take the required steps rather than relying only on the other person, since he can simply unblock her and establish contact again, and they'll be back in the same circumstance where they're chatting anyway. Other than that final dispute over her blocking him, things between my wife and I have been fairly fine for the previous two days. She's been holding my hand caressing me, talking to me, making what seems to be a genuine attempt, and it's been nice. Except for the fact that this just occurred and I'm still thinking about. But after two days, I feel like I should be more emotional. I. At this point, I've chosen to give the marriage another try to see if it can turn into something wonderful again. But what bothers me the most about it all is that I know she loves this person, and she can't simply stop loving him. Knowing that she is still thinking about him disturbs me. I'm simply not sure what to make of it all. I'm not sure whether I'm dumb for giving it another shot. Also, there was never any intention of them meeting in person in the text I read. They had every option if they wanted to since he lived in the same city, but they didn't. The communications they exchange corroborate this. I know some people don't think it's a big deal, but if my wife was physically this guy, I couldn't remain. I also feel bad about it but I'm genuinely envious of the films she gave him because they were unlike anything she's ever shown me, and when I first saw them, I thought they were meant for me and I love them, but they were never meant for me. In any case, please let me know what you think. I apologize for the length of this post. I'd even cut out a lot of information and simply attempted to get the main idea through, but it's still a big article.